When it comes to horror gaming on PC, there's no shortage of titles for you to play when the moon is high and the lights are dimmed. The best PC horror games on Steam offer an unending list filled with indie developed terrors and AAA fright fests of varying qualities. With the limited time we all have to put into playing this ever-growing library of horror games, it's best to focus on those that come highly rated. To keep you from scrolling through pages of games until your mind fractures and you're left muttering some chant that's sure to summon the great old one, we've put together this list of the scariest horrors you can find on Steam. First and third person shooters, visual novels, point and click games, they're all here and on Steam. You know what isn't here though? Duplicates from the same series. We want your library to have variety, so we've chosen the best from a series and have given it the spotlight. If you could tickle that like button and slap subscribe, that would be a big help. Right, let's get spooking. Number 10. Fear. That's right, fear. It's been too long since people were reminded how damn good this series was. Combining survival horror with a fast-paced first-person shooter isn't an easy formula to perfect, but Monolith Productions was able to come very close with fear. If you needed any additional proof that ghost girls are the scariest thing ever, just turn to this action-packed shooter. Short for First Encounter Assault Recon, Fear sends players into a supernaturally charged world as the nameless superhuman Point Man. Throughout much of the game, you're battling against telepathic soldiers, which isn't that scary. However, Monolith crafted a hybrid horror shooter by introducing Alma, the little girl that pops up at inopportune moments to give you quite the fright. When not immersing yourself in firefights or throwing jump scares in your face, fear toys with your mind with disturbing imagery and a good use of psychological horror. Number 9. Visage Within a centuries old abode that's ripe with a dark and bloody past, you're tasked with reliving brutal killings to piece together a gruesome history. That means coming face to face with the ghosts that lurk in the shadows. Visage uses every trick in the survival horror book to turn a seemingly innocent home into a literal house of horrors. The premise is eerie and will make you question the very place you call your home. The spectre design is pretty phenomenal, the jump scares are plenty, and Sad Square succeeded in creating a familiar but horrifying atmosphere through dynamic lighting and sound design. It's also just about the best PT alike we could ever hope for. Visage seems to have been overlooked in favour of other horrors like Phasmophobia and Resident Evil, and also 2020 itself, but we bet good money this will go down as an absolute cult classic. Number 8. Doki Doki Literature Club There is no way you'll look at this game and think it fits anywhere on this list, but that's part of the charm of the bright and colourful experience that is Doki Doki Literature Club. It does take a little while to get into the game's more disturbing moments, but the slow build-up only makes the latter parts of the game that much better. You may even long for the cheery interactions that weren't laced with horrifying imagery. Doki Doki is more of a visual novel, but decisions players make throughout do affect the outcome of the story and lead to one of three possible endings. This is especially effective in drawing the player in as characters grow more twisted and unstable and the game undergoes a complete shift in tone. Don't let the pink hearts and cutesy title fool you. Beneath the adorable exterior is an experience that will leave you feeling uncomfortable. Oh, and it's also free. We hear free stuff is generally a pretty good concept. 7. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Five Nights at Freddy's is special. When you really break down the gameplay, it's nothing more than an elaborate screamer. What makes it work so well isn't the simplistic point-and-click mechanics, but the lore that's vastly expanded in the sequel. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 follows the basic gameplay of its predecessor. You'll be checking cameras and closing vents in a panic, all while conserving limited power over the course of a night. Slip Up and Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria will be in the market for a new night security personnel. Where the original story was pretty straightforward and merely hinted at a larger lore, the sequel really dives into it. Through pixelated minigames, players are introduced to something sinister in the world of Freddy Fazbear. It's still not 100% clear what's happening in the haunted pizzeria, but Five Nights at Freddy's 2 set the stage and hadn't yet drained the idea pool Cawthorn pulled from for the series. 6. Amnesia – The Dark Descent after having to run from the horrors of Amnesia The Dark Descent, you'll wish you could forget all about it and return to nights of restful sleep. 
Right off the bat, Frictional Games ups the tension by making the protagonist unable to defend himself. Then, it thrusts players into a twisted world filled with monsters and other unspeakable horrors. As Daniel, an amnesiac young man who wakes up in the Brennenberg castle of Prussia, players have to uncover his memories and the truth behind the shadow that's hunting him. Making things worse is Daniel's crippling fear of the dark, which ties into the game's best mechanic. Along with maintaining Daniel's health, players have to focus on his sanity. The more it deteriorates, the more he'll hallucinate, and that's when things get really fun. The castle is the perfect atmosphere for Daniel's misadventures, filled with many dark corners and winding hallways for evil to lurk in. Frictional actually made the game fully open source in 2020 and also released Rebirth, which has a few spooks of its own. 5. Darkwood At first glance, Darkwood may not look like much. The top-down gameplay could be misconstrued as a game that won't offer much in the way of depth. Quite the contrary, however, as Darkwood features a fleshed-out story, a cast of NPCs with differing personalities, and plenty of gameplay elements that help make this an essential survival horror PC game. Darkwood is set in a bleak, isolated forest in the Soviet bloc that's become a nesting ground for banshees, monstrous centipedes, mutated human spiders, shadow people, and other horrors. Players explore the semi-open world, scavenging supplies used to craft weapons and support items or build barricades to keep the creatures of the night at bay until the sun rises. Darkwood's gameplay is surprisingly in-depth and helps create a well-rounded experience that's about more than just terrifying the player. Which, by the way, the game will do. The top-down camera angle makes jump scares rare, but the lighting and sound design are fantastic at creating a moody and a haunting atmosphere. 4. Outlast 2 It's not easy to decide between Outlast 2 and its predecessor, but the sequel edges ahead with a greater variety of environments and a stronger focus on psychological frights. After the first Outlast terrified gamers, Red Barrels knew it didn't have to alter the gameplay much to achieve the same effect in Outlast 2. Players still travel by the battery-powered night vision of a camcorder, only this time they're not sneaking through the halls of Mount Massive Asylum. After crash landing in a backwards region of Arizona's Coconino County, investigative journalist Blake has to find an escape from deranged cultists and debilitating hallucinations. Outlast 2 thrives on jump scares and is relentless in throwing everything it has at those brave enough to play. As you may remember from the original, everything is much scarier in the green glow of night vision, even naked hillbillies. 3. Left for Dead 2 when it comes to multiplayer horror titles, few are able to come close to Left 4 Dead 2. The fast-paced zombie shooter is a solid experience from beginning to end, even though it doesn't change much from one chapter to the next. Battling against hordes of the undead with friends or strangers rarely gets old, especially across the varied environments of all 13 playable campaigns, DLC campaigns included. Though Left 4 Dead 2 can whiz past you at lightning speed, there's still plenty of time for horror. The fast infected aren't scary when you know where they are, but it's those scripted moments where they swarm from every direction that will get your heart pumping. It's also impossible to deny that the sound cues for the witch will haunt you to the core. Forgotten what they sound like, have you? Confined those terrible cries to the back of your memory bit of your mind, have you? Too bad, here they are! <laughs> No need to thank us, gang. Despite being more of a non-stop shooter, Left 4 Dead 2 is still one of the best horror games on Steam, even all these years later. Number 2. The Forest After crash landing on a deserted island, players must survive the elements and find an escape. Players gather supplies, build shelter, and craft a survival guide full of support items and weapons with the help of welcoming natives. The friendly locals are happy to lend a hand in getting protagonist Eric LeBlanc off their tropical paradise and home to the mainland. <laughs> Just kidding, the natives are restless and the only thing they care about is removing Eric's flesh from his bones. While the core gameplay is just as we described, players won't find the cannibalistic and mutated natives to be much help. In fact, they really slow down the journey home. The forest is a survival game at heart, but the cannibals instill a heavy dose of horror. If they're not outright attacking, they're lingering in the distance, as if watching and waiting for the perfect time to strike. And strike they will, regardless of what walls, traps and hazards may stand in their way. 
While the humanoid mutants terrify with their shrieks and shrills, it's the multi-limbed monstrosities that roam the island that will leave players shaking. Right, let me just tick off the talk about the forest again off my list of things to do this week. And at number one, Resident Evil 2. A zombie shuffles around the corner, lunging at you with gnarly teeth, a bloodied frame and a guttural groan. You move to run away and realise too late that behind your undead attacker is a liquor listening for the slightest indication of your presence. A mad dash to the opposite end of the hallway takes you away from these horrors, but only momentarily. Just as you're about to escape, the door swings open and the hulking frame of Mr. X peers through. This is what it's like to play through Resident Evil 2, Capcom's relentless complete overhaul of the 1998 classic. The 2019 reboot shares many story elements and several locations with the original, but that's where the parallels stop. If you remember being scared by Resident Evil 2 more than 20 years ago, the 2019 iteration will have you cowering in save rooms. Capcom's grasp on sound and lighting design makes the familiar police department even more foreboding than ever. Resident Evil 2 is undeniably the scariest in the series and one of the best PC horror games you can find on Steam, or anywhere. The development team didn't fall into the trap of forgetting the essence of the source material and instead elevated it to make players dread every step they take in Raccoon City. The best Resident Evil game ever? We'll let you argue that point down in the comments below. And there you have it, our list of the best PC horror games. As ever, did you agree? Did you disagree? Is there anything you feel we missed out that we should have put in? Please sign off in the comments and let us know down below. We always love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video and fancy seeing more from us in the very, very near future, please do one, consider hitting that like button. It sounds cliche, but it really helps the channel grow. Hit that subscribe button as well for all more lists, news and reviews and walkthroughs and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos in the future. Please also consider checking us out on all the other social medias on screen now, including the Cultured Vultures website. And if between all of that, you've enjoyed what we've done here today, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. But until then, until then, cocoon.